Hello friends, in this video we are going to discuss that uh, how we write a standard SOP expression for a given truth table. Means truth table is given, okay, have to write the standard SOP expression. So there is a procedure to be followed for writing the standard SOP expression. Is uh, Step 1 says that we have to consider only those combination of input which are correspond to y equals to 1. What is y here? That is output. So, yeah, so for the y equals to 1, we have to consider only those combinations. And step 2 is that we have to write down a product term for each such combination. Means where the y is equals to 1, we take the product term for, for that combination only. And in step 3 is that we have to or. Or means add all these product terms to get the standard SOP expression. So we will take one example. I am taking a truth table A, B and the output. Means there are two uh, variables. So the so table will be like as, as double zero double one zero one zero one and the output will be zero one one zero. So this is a given uh, we uh, this is a truth table and we have to write the standard solve expression for this truth table only. Okay. So step one is that we have to consider only those combination which are having y is equals to one here. Okay. So this is and for second and third entry, y is equals to 1 here. So we have to consider these two entry only. So here for the first entry, y is equals to 0. So we do not consider this entry. Similarly, for the fourth entry, y is equals to 0. So we do not consider this entry also. We only consider where y is equals to 1. So second and third entry will be considered. Now, so for the second, step 1 is second and third entry second and third entry where y is equals to 1 is considered okay so this will become so a b and y so 0 0 1 1 0 1 0 1 0 1 1 0 so these for these two entries second and third y is equals to 1 so the for the second entry it will become uh, a bar b because the entry will be for a it is 0 so it will represent as a bar for b is it is 1 so we, we will take it as b here now for the third entry a is 1 here so it will become a b bar so for the second entry uh, the expression will be a bar b and for the third entry the expression will be a b bar now this is the step 1 now for the step 2 in step 2 what is that we have to write down the product term for each such combination okay so this is this will become a bar b and for the third entry this is a bar b so y1 here is a bar b and y2 is a b bar okay so this is boolean expression in the product term now in the step 3 is we have to or means add Okay, all the product term, all the product term to write the final expression in the standard SOP form. So y is equals to y1 plus y2 which will become, what is y1 here? y1 is a bar b plus what is y2? y2 is a b bar. Okay, so this is a required expression which is in the standard SOP expression. So, it will represent the final answer will be y is equals to a bar b plus a b bar. Okay. So, this is a standard solve expression. We can represent it in the min term and max term also. So, what is min term and max term? So, uh, I will discuss in my next lecture. Okay. Now, we take one more example to uh, find out how we represent a given truth table to write a standard solve expression. So first we take a truth table here for the three variable. Okay, so this is y. So four times zero, four times one, two times zero, two times one, two times zero, two times one, zero one zero one zero one zero one. And the y will be for three times zero the output will be zero. For the next entry it will become one. For the third that is zero. For the fourth it is zero. 1 0 0 1 okay so for this given truth table we have to write the standard solve expression okay 
now then in the step 1 we have to consider those entry which are which are having y is equals to 1 so for the second entry okay for this entry okay then for this entry and for this entry for the, these three entry y is equals to 1 here okay so we have to consider these three entry only okay so this entry will be a bar b bar c for this entry a is 1 so this will become a b bar c bar and for the last entry it will is a b c okay this is step 1 so step 1 is a, uh, we have to consider only those entry which are having y is equal to 1 here. So, product term in the step 1, the product term corresponding to the combination of input for which y equal to 1 here is y1 will be uh, a bar b bar c, y2 will be a b bar c bar, y3 will be a b c. So, these are product terms. Now in step 2, okay, so we are taking uh, step 2 or step 3 in the combined manner. Now we are taking uh, step 2, we have to or, or means add all the product term. All the product term. So this means y is equals to y1 plus y2 plus y3. So this will become a bar b bar c plus a b bar c bar plus a b c so this is the required solution or you can say the required standard sob expression for this given truth table okay again we have to uh, we can represent this expression in the maximum term also so we will explain it in the in my next lecture so keep watching our video thank you so much